This is a translations tutorial. When we deal with translations in geometry, we're always dealing with vectors. A vector is a quantity that has both direction and magnitude. So when we translate a figure in geometry, we're translating a figure in one particular direction at some magnitude, so at some size, some distance along that direction. So let me show you how we're going to do that. First I'll go ahead and draw on a graph here. And I'm going to draw on the figure rectangle ABCD. Now we're going to take this rectangle, rectangle ABCD, and we're going to translate it somewhere onto this graph. So I'm going to show you two different ways. The first is we're going to translate that rectangle ABCD across the vector to negative 4. And then we're going to translate it across the vector 8, negative 5. Now in order to translate a figure across this vector, this right here is the magnitude and direction that we're going to be translating each coordinate point of this rectangle. So points A, B, C, and D. The magnitude is the, the distance we're going to translate that. So we're going to be translating the x-coordinate of each of these points positive 2. So on a graph, positive 2 is 2 units to the right of wherever you happen to be. And we're going to be translating it negative 4 in the y-coordinate. So we're going to take the y-coordinate of each of these points, a, b, c, and d, and we're going to translate them 4 down because on our graph, 4 in the negative direction for a y-coordinate is downward. So let me show you how we do the manual work over here on the left-hand side. First, I'm going to write out the coordinate points of each of the points A, B, C, and D of our rectangle. So point A occurs at negative 7, comma 7. We go 7 to the left, so negative 7, and 7 up. Point B occurs at negative 4, 7. So we're going to go 4 to the left of the origin, and 7 up. Point C occurs at negative 7, 5, 7 to the left of the origin, and 5 up. And point D occurs at negative 4, comma 5, 4 to the left of the origin, and 5 up. Now we want to translate this rectangle across the vector 2, comma negative 4. So for each of the x-coordinates of these points, a, b, c, and d, I'm going to add 2 to the original x-coordinate. So, for the point A, the x-coordinate is negative 7, and negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. And we're also going to translate the y-coordinate, negative 4, so 4 down. So if the y-coordinate of point A were originally 7, 7 minus 4 is 3. So the new a-coordinate is at negative 5, comma 3. We're going to do the same math for B. The x-coordinate of B is at negative 4, and we're translating it across the vector 2, comma, negative 4. So we're going to add 2 to that x-coordinate, negative 4. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. And the y-coordinate is 7. And remember, we're going to subtract 4 from 7, or add a negative 4, however you prefer to say it. 7 plus a negative 4 is 3. So the new coordinate for B is negative 2, comma, 3. Let's do the same for C. Negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. And 5 minus 4 is 1. And we'll do the same thing for D, translating it across that vector to negative 4. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. And 5 plus a negative 4 is 1. So these are the new coordinates for A, B, C, and D after they've been translated across the vector to negative 4. So I'm going to plot those four points now. A is at negative 5, comma 3, so we'll go 5 to the left of the origin and 3 up, and we'll drop a point. B is at negative 2, comma 3, so we'll go 2 to the left of the origin and 3 up. C is at negative 5, positive 1, so we'll go 5 to the left of the origin and 1 up. And D is at negative 2, positive 1, so we're going to go 2 to the left of the origin and 1 up and plot that point. Now that we have those four points, I'm going to connect them with a couple of lines, and you'll see our new rectangle, rectangle ABCD prime. 
Now you'll notice that each of these points has just been translated across that vector to negative 4. So each one now has been translated 2 to the right and 4 down, each of those four points. And you'll see that's how it arrives at its new location. Now let's translate that original rectangle ABCD across the vector 8, negative 5. So to do that, we're going to do the same kind of math that we just did previously. We're going to take that first point, point A, and we're going to translate it across that vector 8, comma, negative 5. So we're going to add 8 to whatever the x-coordinate was of the original point A. So negative 7 plus 8 is positive 1. And we're going to subtract 5 to whatever the y-coordinate was of the original point. Or you could think of that as adding a negative 5. So I'm going to think of it as subtracting 7 minus 5 is 2. All right, so that's the new point of A as translated across the vector 8, comma, negative 5. Now let's do B. Negative 4 plus 8 is a positive 4. And 7 minus 5, again, is 2. Let's move on to C. Negative 7 plus 8 is positive 1. And 5 minus 5 is 0. And lastly, point D. Negative 4 plus 8 is positive 4, and 5 minus 5 is 0. Now that we have the new points for A, B, C, and D, let's plot them on our graph. So A is at 1, 2. So we'll go 1 to the right and 2 up and plot that point. B is at 4, 2. So we'll go 4 to the right and 2 up and plot that point. C is at 1, 0. So we'll go 1 to the right and right there on the x-axis. And D is at 4, 0, so we'll go 4 to the right and put a point right there on the x-axis. Now that we have our four points, let's connect them with some lines. And you'll see we have the new figure, ABCD double prime. So that's that rectangle ABCD, but translated across the vector 8, negative 5. So each point went 8 to the right and 5 down. And when we did that, we arrived at our new location. You'll notice that they all moved the same amount. That vector, 8, comma, negative 5. Now remember, when you see a vector, you'll recognize it because every vector has these funny looking parentheses around it that kind of have a sharp point. All right, so that's how we translate figures in geometry.